How comfortable are your regulators with, with you guys using an internal um, tokenization processes to save money? That's a great question. And the, the simple answer is that when you do this work, you need to do your homework. You need to be prepared to anticipate what the regulators expect. Last year, I believe it was, that the, the Fed had issued a market guidance that firms that were supervised by the Fed needed to notify their primary regulator, i.e. the Fed, when they were embarking on this type of activity. In the case of the repo transactions, or the repo platform that I'm, I was talking about, we did that, that preceded the Fed guidance. Nevertheless, you know, that's, the first thing is to have the open dialogue with them, to say, hey, before you do it, here's what we're gonna do, are you okay with it? The second thing is that, and in, in that case, you know, it's different in Europe, but in that case, we're using a, a private permission blockchain so that it doesn't have access to, you know, so among the concerns you can, you can imagine are things that they've talked about publicly are, you know, data security, access to, you know, bad actors, things like that. So if you're in a, you know, a permissioned chain, you know, a much easier conversation. Um, and we hope that will change over time, but that was a much easier conversation.